so you get a better vocab so you can have a decent chat with yourself. What are you saying? It becomes a point. If you're not keeping yourself interested in anything, your brain's going to turn to mush. Now, I'm, I'm, I know you feel. I'm teaching my brain stuff, keeping it active. Mm. The only thing you've got on that island mm. is your imagination mm. and your thoughts. Now, if you can make those imaginations and thoughts better, which you do with language, you're going to have a better time, aren't you? Well, now, a thought is never restricted in your own brain by vocabulary, is it? Of course it is. Well, well no, if you've had the thought, you've had the thought. You don't go, hold on, I'd have a thought here, but I can't think of the word. You don't think in language in that same way, do you, really? You think more conceptually. When someone came up, I, oh, guess what? I've just found well, I've, I've just worked out the cure for A. I can't think of the word. Let's look it up. What is it? Cancer. No, but just to think, language is a powerful thing, isn't it? Yeah. Um. No, oh, he's run out of words. You see, this is what I'm saying. It's sometimes difficult for me to get my point across with what I mean. Yeah, but that's fair enough if you're communicating, say, in this environment, and it's... And dare I say it, perhaps a shame that you didn't read a dictionary before we started doing the podcast and all the broadcasting. But anyway, you've waited here on a desert island with nowhere well, uh, around. Well, no, no. Well, I, I think uh, by then, well, by the time you get shipwrecked, there would probably be a few more entries to the dictionary. Um, grippage. <laughs> foodage. <laughs> rumminging. <laughs> replenishing. Pop, pop. So what? All words are made up. Orange. One day, someone went, what? He's oh, got a head. He's got a head like something. He's got a head, 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 head like a fucking what? I don't even know what. He's got a head like a fucking what? Well, that's what I'm saying. Let's make so, up a word. It looks like a orange. Like a fucking red no, orange. orange. And the other thing is, say if I am captured. By who? who? What? By that's who? By a boat that's passing. Why are you captured? captured? You mean saved? Alright, saved then, yeah. Okay. If I'm sa- there you go again, you see. I went for captured instead of saved. <laughs> You captured by some pirates. Talking to anyone, Carl, in your head, it didn't matter. You knew what you meant. When you sat there on that desert island, you thought, oh, if I'm captured by a boat. They didn't come over and go, hi, right, Carl, we've come to save you. You wouldn't go, well, I don't want saving, I'm capturing. I go, right, sorry, wait for the next boat. It didn't matter. You knew what you meant. You'd go, help, and you'd get do on the you, boat. Do you think in, in words that you don't use? Unless you're specifically thinking about something you're going to say, maybe because we're doing some writing or whatever, we're not thinking in words, are you? You don't wander around thinking, ah, today I feel so, oh, I don't know what the word is. Extremely. You, you yes. know, you know, you just feel, you yeah. experience, you think, you don't, you're not thinking logically about words and sentence structure and all those other things. You don't, that's not how you operate. So if you're on a desert island having these arguments well, with yourself, unless you're got. schizophrenic. You've only got yourself for company. Yes, but you if don't. you bore yourself, what's the point? <laughs> What is the point, seriously? But how are you going to... What, so you think you're going to read that dictionary and you're going to be better company because you're going to be impressing yourself with longer words. You're going to go... Well, why uh, do people use big words? Because they can. But also, to impress themselves. I bet they slip no, no, their no, words no, in. To impress themselves, no. to impress others. If a boat passes and they go, there's a fellow over there on that island, let's go and get him. Now, the way I am at the moment, they'd go, you're all right, and I'd go, you are. And they'd go, oh, don't stop. <laughs> Where? Imagine that! Whereas if oh. I sort of say something with a big word that I can't think of right now, they'll go, oh, who's that? He sounds like he knows his stuff. Yoo-hoo! Anti-disestablerentarianism! <laughs> get him on this boat now! <laughs> we must have that wit! <laughs> Alright, you, you get him. <laughs> but then I'm on the news and they go, oh, Carl, what was it like on the island? And I can start saying stuff. I it can't... was scrambarious! <laughs> No, but then I think it makes it more interesting, whereas at, the, at this moment in time, I'd struggle telling them what it's like. I like the idea of you trying to educate I love yourself. the idea. But do it now! Because there's so many other books. If I'm stuck with one... Okay, the dictionary. You've got a dictionary. What's your luxury item? What's your luxury item? Quick. Let's get off this island. Come on. What did you take for your luxury? A vat of Novocaine. Oh, yeah. yeah. Some Revels. A big sort of bag. A big bag of revels. A big bag of revels. Just for variety. Well, there's no variety particularly in revels. They're You're all joking, chocolate, aren't they? Aren't they? No, all different. You've got orange ones. You've got coffee, caramel, Malteser. That's it. That's your luxury. Sorry, is this podcast sponsored by revels? I mean, second Novocaine isn't great, is it? If you don't get toothache, you'll be going, "Why aren't they bring revels?" <laughs> Thank you for listening. I mean, you are martyrs, saints and martyrs, to have listened to this. 
all these years. So that's it from us. Um, why don't you start again? Go back to the beginning and listen to all of them. The back catalogue. Five series. See if you can find one wise word from Carl Pilkington. And if you listen to this in the future, whew, I tell you what, the world's gone downhill. Uh, no, it'll just be different. I don't think it'll go downhill. It's just going to change, and it things are going to be different. We've talked about fat people. Uh, is that a bad thing? Mammoths were fat, weren't they? Yeah. Uh, then they died out. Then you get the Ice Age. And then this has happened. It's all going to happen again. That's what's going to happen. Brilliant. You uh, just decided that now. Definitely. Well, that's what happens, isn't it? A weed. A weed grows out of a crack. Put weed killer on it. Two weeks later, it's back again. That's what the world's like, a big weed. We're just a weed in the universe. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Carl um, has been writing a, a book about knowledge, haven't he? Yeah, I enjoy doing this one. What's it about? Uh, just learning stuff, you know. You know I didn't do that well at school and that, so I thought, sometimes you need a reason to do stuff, don't you? Uh, and I thought, well, if I do a book about learning, I'll then learn stuff. So if no one buys it, it doesn't matter because you do it. I've learned, so it's not been a waste of time. I haven't done it just for the sake of doing it. I've done it. And your own benefit, and if people want to read it and enjoy it, then brilliant. We've got some advanced pages here. Yeah, I thought I'd dip into it and give you a flavour of the sort of things uh, that have been concerning half, which begins with, time could have been invented a bit better, I thought to myself, <laughs> while lying on my sun lounge room in Norica. <laughs> time could have been invented a bit better. Yeah. How could it be improved? Well, go on to explain it, oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Sure. The invention of time, I wonder if it could have been designed better. People are always saying, oh, there's not enough hours in the day. But I say it all depends on where you are. In Menorca, the fact that the holiday rep asked if we'd like to go on an all-day trip to a leather factory tells me there are too many hours in a day here. <laughs> you do uh, specifically talk about uh, how you'd like to improve time. Um, so, time in the calendar. We have 12 months a year, 365 days, 7 days a week, 24 hours a day, 60 minutes an hour, 60 seconds per minute. All man-made and it's never been changed. I decided I'd act as an inventor and give some thought to how a new time system should work there. Right. Absolutely um, pointless. Uh, this is uh, Carl's proposal. And how to that in? Yeah. I'm thinking that years are too long. 365 days should be taken down to about 200. Right, arbitrary. arbitrary. And why are years too long? Yeah, too long. This will cheer people up, as birthdays and Christmases will come round sooner. It will also have the knock-on effect of making people live longer. News, news will become older quicker, and seeing as time is a great healer, things will be healed quicker. I'm not too worried about the seasons, as since global warming, the weather seems to do what it wants anyway. Each month will have four weeks, and I'd add an extra day to the week so that people work six and are off for two. This, right. would, this would increase productivity, <laughs> making up for the lost days in the shorter year. But people shouldn't moan, as their holidays will come round sooner. It doesn't make any sense at all. It doesn't make any sense at all. I love the fact that I've been saying there's 200 days in a year. Makes no difference to someone's life. Right. They're, they're, they're 70 old years or 100 new years. <laughs> Whichever way you look at it. So am I, uh, have I lived longer? Of course you have. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. <laughs> it's your birthday again. Well, how old am I now? He's 300. Am I? Yeah. He's actually 53. <laughs> Well, I don't think you've thought it through fully there. Uh, as he goes on to explain, criminals will be put off crime, as what was a 10-year sentence would now, <laughs> would now become an 18-year sentence. Oh, God! This would work the same way with ill people. When the doctor tells them they've only got two years to live, the new system would mean they've got four years. That's amazing. You don't, you don't, it not, you've not grasped the concept that it's the same amount of time. And people the day is the same. So, the day is the same length, okay. Is the day the same length? Well, why why wouldn't it be? A Do day that. is a is a revolution of the earth. Yeah, but only because of at the beginning of time you had to rely on the sun and the moon. We don't these days. Of course we do. We don't, not really. I mean, plants do, but us as working people, look at us. We're in a basement here. I don't know what time it is out there. How long's a day then? Or is the day the same length? And you just start a year 
after 200 well, days? Well, I was thinking about starting the day earlier, but I thought it'd be too much to do it all What do you mean, go. starting the day earlier? Just um, <laughs> starting the day. I mean, the day starts at midnight. Yeah. And why not start then? Why not get up and start then, and then you're fresh? It's a new day. Let's so move you on. get so everyone gets up at midnight. So you haven't changed a thing. So just people just get up at midnight now. People so you're just saying just get up at midnight. Get up at midnight. Uh, so it's to total blackness, darkness for another six hours so what? at least. People right. get up and go to work. Yeah. Work okay. Light on. So every everyone's a milkman. Okay. No, exactly. What? Exactly. When you get your milk, it's fresher. It hasn't been sat on the step for about five hours when you get up. When you have your lunch, you'll be having lunch at around... Uh, <laughs> 10 a.m.? Yeah, around 10. So that's fresher. No, no. no you don't have lunch to, around 4 a.m. You go into butty shops now, that butty's probably been made about four hours ago. So you get up at midnight, you get up at midnight, you have your <laughs> breakfast. I'm not, I'm okay. not, I'm not. What do you do? When do Carl, it doesn't make any sense at all. That makes, that doesn't change. They're just saying, you're just saying get up early, get when up you, When you night. finish work, it'll still be nice and light. When you finish work at about... Work. About ten in the morning. No, you want that's lunch. Okay. No, it's not. No, 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 no. That's ten hours so far. It work a ten-hour day. If you get up at midnight, you finish work at ten in the morning. What do you do then? <laughs> so you go to bed, you sleep during the daylight hours. So what do you do? Do you go straight to bed or do you stay up from ten a.m.? If you're the sort of person who doesn't need as much sleep. Then no, 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 no. Everyone needs. To, let's say, no, they don't. Say, my mum hardly has any. She has. No, but say no, hours average. Sleep. Say people want uh, eight <laughs> hours sleep. My mum would love to be. Out so if they get up midnight, so you go to bed at four in the afternoon. <laughs> everyone goes to bed at four in the afternoon. <laughs> Not everyone. No, no, Why? but approximately. Yeah, so everyone. Don't, well, no, that's did, like, everyone doesn't go to bed now at eleven, do they? Some no, no, but that's the. Two, but that's, exactly. So average. So um, a normal day. <laughs> um, you get up at. So you go. So what you're saying is midnight's about what seven a.m. It's the new equivalent. So everything's seven hours behind. Well, why? Why are you? Um, why are you... So you get up at you get up at midnight. You go to work at about one a.m. So you're I'm a, I'm a bit of toast. You're I'm a bit of toast. I don't want you go, change. So you work. So work in one, two, five. What a way to make a lit. So right, forget it then. So you have your lunch. You have your lunch about five a.m. Uh, and then you work again till ten a.m. You go bye. Night. Have a good. Have a good morning. Cheers. It's pointless. What, uh, it, you just want people to all Every work at night. night. Yeah, everyone works night. That's what night. you're saying. Make the street safer. That's when most trouble will happen. If you've got loads of people knocking around at two in the morning, very little crime. Crime's not done the day, and you go to bed at night. Well, it is. Everyone's asleep. The streets are empty at midday. I can't believe my luck. Yeah, it's a lovely sunny day. I'm going out burglaring. But if you get, if you hear a noise and you look out the window, you'll see him. You'll go, what are you doing? I can capture this, this. This never used to happen. I ate this all time. Damn, Carl Pilkington. Where everything you say, there's an argument, and if you don't like it, fair enough. Right, okay. You know, what's that famous saying? You can please some oh, there's another one. Some there's of the time, one. no, yeah. but you can't please everyone all the time. Right. So let's change the time. Why? Just don't bother, leave it as it is. <laughs> Order your copy of Carlology by Carl Pilkington at play.com now. And visit rickygervais.com for news of Series 5 of The Ricky Gervais Show. Hi, welcome to this free little tester podcast. Um, another one, just out of the goodness of our hearts. Do you know what I mean? Kind just, guys, we're good guys. Just free, just yeah. listen to that, enjoy it. Um, uh, with me, Ricky Gervais, Stephen Merchant. Hello there. And of course, Carl Pilkington. We've just recorded the first of our new series of audiobooks which will be a guide to a plethora of academic subjects. Um, the first one was on medicine, um, which uh, which is fantastic, so look forward to that in 2009. But what about a free sample first, Steve? By all means, yeah, people can get a sense of exactly what they can expect. <laughs> Of course, medicine is the art or science of healing, and that doesn't always have to be um, a, a drug or a surgery. I mean, bedside manner has a lot to do with things, and uh, also it's all about care as well. Uh, we mustn't just forget that um, some people don't need medicine, they just need help. Um, for example, uh, there are people that help disabled people um, have intercourse, where they can't, you know, maybe get on to the helps the man put in his penis um, to the uh, the woman's um, vagina and they leave the room. Yeah. What? I've never seen, I've never even heard of this. <laughs> it's true, absolutely true. They're Stay. helpers. Yeah, no, I believe that is the case. Yeah. 
and that's just no, that's just as needed as anything that that, that might cure well, it's that. Not, it's not. That's pleasure. Yeah. So what are you saying? Because you can't walk or or, or move, that you can't love someone and want to 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 share that love. I'm just saying it's not a priority. Well, no, but they 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 they're, they're going to live. They're 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 healthy apart from their their disability. I've met someone. They want to you know consummate this this love, and someone is um helps them out and goes well I, you know that's that's part of my job. No, it's not part of the job. <laughs> well, it, it, well, no it is part of this job because that's their job. I have never heard anyone say oh, I've had a right day today. Why? I've been playing with Arthur's uh, tackle all day. They don't I, play with Arthur's tackle. They pop Arthur's tackle in Hilda's vagina. I don't think they do. They do. How can they enjoy that? I mean, maybe once, maybe it. once, and they'd go, that didn't work, did it? I didn't enjoy that, Hilda. No. How can they enjoy it with a nurse stood there? They don't, do she, no, they help her in, she helps it, Arthur in, or he, might be a male nurse, pops Arthur in, goes, okay, Arthur, um, I'll, I'll see you in a few minutes. Right, goes outside. But That's what's the point, though, in that? Why? Because it's all about the mood and everything. He's just stuck onto a, like, like a stag beetle clinging <laughs> onto a leaf. There's no enjoyment in that. Oh, the well-known uh, stag beetle copulating with a leaf syndrome. No, but I'm well, not saying... That's position in the Garbage Sutra. I'm no, just he saying... Knows, you know, he, he, he's, uh, it's a, it's a, I think it's a lovely act and someone's willing to... Wouldn't you help someone Definitely in it? Definitely not. No. Well, so, not. No, no, so the guy goes, um, uh, uh, oh, this is my wife. Um, we're both say, well, I can't, I can't, you know, can you just pop me in, Carl? Um, you're the only, you know, it, 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 you're the only person around. No, um, I don't think it's important But there enough. are people... What do you mean you don't think it's important enough? I'd be happy to go round, put the washing on for them, make the bed. Do you want a cup of tea? Yeah, I'd love one. There you go. Oh, just before you go, forget it. <laughs> if they asked me to do that, I would... I'd, I'd quit. And I think it, I don't think it happens, because people it wouldn't does take that happen. on for a job. You it never does. hear about it. On Comic Relief, when they're raising money, they don't go, thanks to Midland Bank for this hundred grand, that's gonna go towards Arthur getting his end away. That's no. ridiculous. So you, you would... you would... rather them not have the pleasure? of each other than just help them in. No, because they'd, w- they'd work out some way that they could do something for each other. I, I want to play the guitar, my fingers aren't long enough. I knocked it on the head. It's the same thing. If you can't do it, don't do it. So are you telling me, right, okay, um, if the, suppose there's a, li- a little fellow who's got no arms, no legs, right? Right. L- little Bob. Okay. There he is. Alright, Carl. Right. Um, he's got a friend. Another little fella with no arms and no legs. Alright, Carl. Right? They love each other. Two little two little fellas. Two little dwarves with no arms and no legs. Okay? Lovely little fellas. They get married. Okay? Look, yeah, Carl, you can't you can't put my uh, my penis up my um my boyfriend's bottom, can you? No, you I can't, no. Why, why not? Why no, not? Do you need Carl? anything else doing? Uh, no, I'm fine, I'm fine, yeah, No, it's weird how you can manage everything else. Well, no, no. I'm here to help you. Everything else seems to be sorted. Well, I'm just in the chair. Why do you need help in this department? Well, because he's over there and I'm here. And I'm just, if you just pop me in and just leave No, I'm not there. doing that. It's not good for you. You've lost your arms and legs. You'll be losing that soon if you carry on sticking it up there. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, uh, that's uh, just a few minutes of a much, much longer and more extensive uh, study in the, uh, the great subject of... Uh, Medicine. Uh, what, uh, what can we look forward to in the uh, the new audiobook series? We've done medicine. That's safe. That's that's kicking. What other subjects would you like to cover? I'd like to do natural history. Yeah, natural history is good. Um, well, um, we were talking uh, the other day. Carl is fascinated by that quote I once told him that, that Wittgenstein said, "If a lion could speak English, you wouldn't be able to stand it because your cultural references would be so different." And uh, it, it, as you know, Carl couldn't get it. He'd be going, "Well, I think I would understand a lion." He was going, "I'd know what it, I know what sort of day it's had." What did you mean by that? I just mean, of all the things that are out there, I, I kind of know what a lion gets up to. Yeah, but so you I don't wouldn't know. be shocked when no, it but told d- me. No, it's so different. No, it's not. Not it when is. you when you think about, um, say, like a worm. Yeah. I'd go, go on, tell me again, what have you been up to? Yeah. Because it's so weird. <laughs> yeah. It's so different. <laughs> but a lion, I know, I know, most of it's go- he's going to be, he's going to say, he's been hunting again. <laughs> yeah, but he's not going to say, I've been hunting again. Yeah. Well, what do you mean? But, no, it's not about that, it's, uh, it's like, um, you can't understand really well-educated people using different words and culture. It's sort of like, um, uh, people are different enough you don't quite understand 
what they're talking about. I've, but you do, you always do. Even in tribes, I've watched programs about tribes, and I don't go, I don't know what they're doing. But I think no, the, we're people. Can I suggest, people. I think the problem Carl's having is when he imagines this 